This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to look at this Irwin Hansen T-handle tap wrench. It's a sliding handle that's supposed to be able to fit anything from zero to a quarter of an inch. So let's take a look at it. So this is the packaging that came in. I took the liberty to split the top. I want to take a look at it. We'll open it up and let it come out. So when you look at that you're thinking, yeah, that's kind of nice. It's got a sliding T, sliding handle here with, with ball bearing detents. That's nice. But when you try to tighten this, it is rough, gritty. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to twist. And this is the smallest opening that it could open to, which is not zero at all. It's smaller than a quarter of an inch, certainly, but I've got a number of smaller taps that I got. This will not work with those. These are referred to as micro taps. We've got very small diameter here, 1.0, 1.2, 1 1.4, 1.5, 1.7, 1.8, 2, 2.5, this is 3, and then this is 5 millimeters. Well, even the 5 millimeter, I have this tight as I can get it, and it's, it's loose. And you can see these smaller diameter, they just don't even fit at all. So this has been a failure for me, unfortunately. Now, I can tighten this down further, but it's very, very difficult. So I'm going to try to improve the quality of this and to get these taps into a proper handle. I've actually ordered one. So we're going to try to make this better, but to handle these very, very fine taps, I ordered a very small tap wrench from McMaster Carr, and we'll take a look at that in a different video. But let's take a close-up look at this. This is pretty crude. This is a Chinese-made wrench, uh, and we'll zoom in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to loosen it. Again, it feels gritty and crunchy like there's sand or debris and garbage in this. And I can tell you, looking at the threads, they're pretty crudely cut. It looks like this thing was just machined, not even brushed, uh, and then screwed together and put in, a, put in a package. So we'll work on trying to improve the quality of this by improving the threads and improving these jaws or these flutes and also trying to improve the internal threads of this piece. So this fits exactly 24 teeth per inch which is not a metric size it's an English size which I was surprised about but it's exactly right 24 teeth per inch and it's a one-half so we need a one-half by 24 tap for this nose cone and die for this part. So I chucked up a, uh, a wire brush and we're going to run that on the inside. Let's see if I can get this, get in there. Then we'll spin it and close, carefully bring it out. <clears throat> That should clean the threads on the inside quite a bit. It's 
We'll clean the threads on this part. Just this, I think, will improve the function dramatically. Let's just put this together. Yeah, it goes on a lot more easily now. Still very rough. Yeah, and that's it. Cranked down, basically. We can lubricate it a little bit, but I think tapping it and cutting the threads on the... Uh, on the jaw area with the die will really help us. So we're going to recut the, these threads really nicely. So I've now purchased this die, which is a half inch by 24, <clears throat> and this tap with a rounded nose so it'll fit into the cone of this tap handle. So let's get the tap going so we can improve these threads. We'll put it into this tap handle and tighten it. And then what we'll do is we'll just put this die in the vise and we'll run this through it, which will, again, improve the threads inside this nose cone and on the outside of this, which will allow this to tighten up more smoothly. So I've got the nose cone of this here, and we're going to, again, this is a half by 24. We're going to just run this tap all the way through, which will do a little bit of cutting, not too much, but it's going to really clean up those threads. And then I'll be careful as this gets closer, I'll feel it because it'll end up bottoming out in the tip as, there we go, that's probably it right there, good. Now we'll just wind, unwind this. And I didn't use any tapping fluid just because the amount of metal we're taking out of this is pretty minimal. Take a look at the tap. You can see the, the metal shavings that have come off of that. So that was that was a good move. And the threads inside of this you can see are nice and shiny. So they've all been cut. Now we'll just put this die in the vise. And we'll run the tap with the uh, the tap handle through it. There it goes. And again, this is just thread chasing, basically. Now this one's pretty good. So that didn't have to do very much. So we'll wipe these both off, and we'll see how that looks in just a second. And it should they should thread together really nicely. We'll put just the smallest amount of oil on this. There's the nose cone. Oh boy, that threads on so much better. And as we tighten it down, let's see the jaws actually come together. So I don't think we're going to need to make a cut, a back cut into that. So that's dramatically improved. And now this is actually really quite useful. Smooth. And it will serve us well with our taps. As I was looking through my taps, this tap handle, which is Chinese and it's got a reversing ratchet mechanism, one direction this way, moving this switch down, it's the other way. Or in the middle, there's no ratchet. This really goes down to a small size and can grip even the smallest one millimeter tap. So this is the tap handle that you really need when you're using micro taps. So we'll put a link for this 
because I was frustrated going through um, my other sources, but this one is available, it's inexpensive, it's got a ratcheting function and it works all the way down to one millimeter and easily handles easily handles the bigger three millimeter and then much larger too. So here it is with three millimeter beautifully handled. So again we took this Irwin tap handle and made it much better by using a die to reinforce and recut the threads of the handle itself and the nose piece. We used a tap one half by 24 and it made it really really better and it, it's smoother we, we took it to the wire wheel and got all the debris out of the threads it's a much better tap handle still not the greatest because it's still kind of rough and, and difficult to fully tighten but we can get it to the point where we have it all the way tightened but by hand which is dramatically better than when we first got it well thank you very much for watching this is adventures with dr joe Please subscribe, please click like, and comments are very welcome. As always, stay safe.